It's all over in Thurles and Killerwan McDonoughs are Tipperary County title winners for the first time since 1985. Keen Darcy scored 2-2. Uh, he was brilliant at the top end of the field, but it was Niall O'Mara also soldiering through the pain. He went down with a hamstring injury midway through the second half. Looked like he might have to come off, but no soldiered on, patched himself up after hobbling around for a bit and uh, was brilliant and was named man of the match late on. And Killer One looked like they were all at sea in the first half. They they struggled. They were just holding on to Killadang's Killerangan's uh, coattails, and you thought that after uh, the goal had been scored by Tom O'Mara, which probably went in a little bit softly, I'm sure that Paddy Williams would be a little bit frustrated with that getting in, and Dan O'Mara doing quite well in the full forward line after being uh, started in this game. It really did look like Killer One were struggling. They were relying an awful lot on Willie Cleary freeze in the first half, and no forward scored from play for the Magpies during that first half at all, and you wondered, could they come back in the second half from 1-9 to 7 behind? But the way they came out in the second half, they won the second half 2.13 to 6 points. And all across the field, you had leaders standing up. As I said, Keane Darcy getting 2-2, getting on the, the end of some great moves. Niall O'Mara, Willie Cleary on the freeze, of course, was really, really good. And different players stepping up across the field. Uh, Keane O'Kelly, he was a battering ram up front. Uh, Thomas Cleary, he never stopped going. Jack Peters, brilliant fullback. He's been carrying an injury lately as well. Uh, so brilliant stuff across the field. Kieran Cahill as well. During the first half, there was a bit of a schmozzle after about 10 minutes. And a huge amount of players got involved in around the middle of the field. And uh, Kieran Cahill had the jersey ripped off his back. He had to go and get a number 33 replacement. Kind of a semi-comical scene, but um, came back on and he played really well throughout the course of the game. Uh, so many. Uh, Sean McAdams, I thought, was excellent midfield. Not only did he pop one over from play, he knocked another one over the bar from the sideline. Mark O'Neill, he was contributing all throughout as well. Um, some of the big stars for Killer or Killer Dangan didn't fully get going in this game. Ty Gallagher got a point late on, but it wasn't quite his day. It wasn't really Sean Hayes' day. Willie Connors, who has been marked brilliantly by Aaron Morgan throughout this game, he, he was taken off. Billy Seymour wasn't started. Um, Adam Flynn, such an excellent hurler, didn't really get into the game massively. Paul Flynn again, he scored three points. He was very good in terms of leading the line. But too many of the inside, or too many of the forwards for Killadang and never really got going. Brian Malachny had some great moments and uh, got a couple from play and some great frees, but actually a couple of the frees went awry in him in the second half and Seymour took over um, um, I, once he was introduced. Another thing was uh, Jerome Cal when he made his speech at the end of the game and he was hoisting the, the, the cup aloft, and I put up an image of it here that I took. I just thought it was, you know, it was, it was a brilliant scene. You could obviously see everyone there from the local parish is, is uh, enthralled with the scenes. And, I suppose he mentioned Dylan Quirk, of course, a friend of his from the Tipperary underage teams, and and I suppose briefly with the senior panel as well. And he certainly made mention of uh, of his friend who had passed, and it was very poignant. And you know, either side of that, of course, was brilliant celebrations. The people of uh, Killerangan have been waiting thirty, or Killer One have been waiting thirty seven years for this, and uh, their team really did deliver. And you know, as I said, first half it wasn't really they weren't really playing up to the level that they they normally do. And they, they almost looked like a bit of a beaten side, but I suppose we should have known at this stage that the team's not going to give up. They didn't give up in the in the drawn game. They managed to get that late equaliser. And what a brilliant second half performance here. I suppose Kiladangan had a very good start. I already mentioned Dan O'Mara. He was uh, he was thrown in from the get-go at the edge of the square, got a point early on, assisted another score. And I think he popped the ball out for Tom O'Mara to score his goal after a nice ball was played into the uh, corner. But too many other players didn't really uh, get to the pitch of it. There was a penalty saved in the first half. Uh, that that was uh, Barry Hogan had it saved by Paddy Williams. So as much as he might have uh, done better with the other goal chance, he did turn that one around the post brilliantly. Um, there was, should have been a, a black card, I think, in the second half. James Quigley with a bit of a, a rugby tackle, and it just showed again that the um, that that rule doesn't go far enough. And certainly at club level, the black card isn't in yet. But um, as I mentioned, a couple of wides from Freeze in the forty third, and forty fourth, uh, actually both in the forty third minute for Killadang and allowed Killawan to stay ahead. They had just nudged ahead a couple of minutes beforehand. And I suppose the fact that the that Killawan didn't peg them back just after, that was a big blow to them. And they did get level a little bit later on in the 51st minute, was 15 points to 112. But at that stage, all the momentum was with Killer uh, One, And they saw the game out, really was a uh, performance for them. And yes, they have Ballygunner next week, and that's not going to be easy, certainly not, because they've played two pulsating, bruising games in the space of six days. There's a lot of walking wounded out there. You can see players hobbling around, but they got the job done. First county title since 1985. Brilliant stuff from Killer One McDonough's and commiserations, of course, to Killer Dangan. And just a reminder for anyone 
who uh, who's not already aware. We've got a coaching clinic coming up, Money Gall, uh, Bank Holiday Monday, October 31st, tomorrow as I'm recording this live. So keep an eye out for that. Lyle Moore, Paddy Stilton, Eddie Brennan, and uh, you can buy tickets at the link underneath this video.